what's going on YouTube welcome back to the video blog one more time the Hoxton trend right gang what I'm going to show you today real quick is the Pyrenex jackets that I got in um, you saw I done the teaser trailer video and I've got a whole bunch of um, jackets from flannels.com right here so what I'm going to do is I want to quickly go through the history of Pyrenex with you let you know my thoughts on the jacket and we're going to review these jackets real quick and see what they're all saying okay so as you know if you've got stuff from flannels already they come in these really cool bags um, and these are great, these are great to keep all your jumpers and stuff like that in it That's what I usually do when I get these ones in Yeah, this is the first um, Pyrenex jacket right here that we got in Funny enough, this one looks a little bit like a Montclair Meyer But I'll, I'll be getting into that in a second The second one that we got in was the was the Gile that we got in right there So that was that one The Bomber Star jacket which is right here And this one was actually my favourite now, um, Pyrenex started over 150 years ago. It actually started in 1859, so it's got a lot of heritage. It's got more heritage, uh, more history than Montclair. Montclair actually started in 1952. And Pyrenex is actually a French brand, and the name Pyrenex actually came around from from the brand being founded near the Pyrenees Mountains. Now, the jacket is well known for its down insulation. Apparently, the, the duck feathers that they use are some of the best quality in France. So they became renowned throughout Europe for selling some of the best down jackets available at the time now even though I've got these three jackets right here um, I actually went onto their website I jumped onto their website to have a, a real look and I, I was really impressed with some of the jackets they've got now I just want to show you these jackets here these ones I was really impressed with some of these jackets like this one here looks like um, it almost looks like a Montclair Grenoble now I'm not going to lie there is an uncanny resemblance between the Pyrenex stuff and the, some of the Montclair Maya jackets but this jacket right here for example this jacket here is using like a wool blend polyamide material this one is using polyamide and wool you can see it's got the fur around the back I thought they did some really cool looking jackets uh, and they're quite technical as well I, I'm really be I'm beginning to look at Pyrenex as a brand which can be seen as a cheaper version of Montclair and I, I don't really see too much difference between Pyrenex and Montclair in terms of a brand they both really started out as technical um, jackets it's almost like Pyrenex is like where Montclair was maybe 10 years ago Montclair started off doing um, sports jackets down jackets for skiing they weren't really a big brand they weren't really too fashionable but what happened was I think it was I can't remember the year but I think it might have been like the start of 2000 a guy came over he bought the Montclair brand and he's now turned it into this huge fashion label that we all see today this one is actually called the Sputnik Smooth Gile um, they've even they've even put here some of the um, samples of the down that they use in this jacket which is meant to be really world renowned this jacket was on at 220 pounds now it's made from matte taffeta now taffeta is actually a nylon woven material it's then been put with a polyurethane coating as well and the polyurethane coating that makes it waterproof and um, wind resistant I was looking at the zips, they do use um, Vizlon YKK zips as you can see right there so that's really good to see that and we can also see that they're using some Vizlon zips on, Vizlon zips on the inside jacket there. They have got um, a waterproof stitch seam going all the way through there that, so that water cannot enter the jacket. Got a little pull cord down there at the bottom so you can taper it at the waist if you want to. I don't usually tend to do that with um, jackets or gilets, I like to kind of keep them a bit loose which is uh, just the way I like it. This jacket was £220. Uh, compare this to something like the Canada Goose, which is 250 I would more go for the Canada Goose because I think the Canada Goose for 250 is probably one of the best gilets you can get for around that price point. It's an extremely warm jacket. But it also came in other colours as well. It came in a blue, it came in red. It also came in like a, a, a sky blue. If you're looking for this, you can also jump over to Pyrenex, the website which is based over in France and they do have a lot more selection as well over there so that might be worth um, checking out now this jacket right here this is called the uh, I forgot what this one's called now it's actually called the Pyrenex Mistral Bomber Jacket it's on at 450 this was a size medium um, this jacket is made from a material called Garb Garbodyne which is basically a really tight woven material so when you feel it it feels really nice really thick and really durable it's actually i think 70 percent cotton and 20 percent um polyfurane the material of it feels quite sturdy 
I remember when I took this jacket out of the um, packaging, I wasn't too impressed. I thought it was a bit simple, a little bit plain. But you know what? When I put the jacket on, it was so comfortable, man. It really was. Out of all of the three jackets, this was the most comfortable one. You could really feel the down of the feathers inside the jacket, which was really nice as well. You can also see here that we have Vizlon YKK on the zips there. So that's also a nice thing to see as well. The fur around the outside feels really nice now. I think this is coyote fur. So that's really nice to see. And it is removable as well. For some of you guys that don't like fur, you can take that off. You don't have to wear that, okay? Uh, now this jacket is quite special, this one. It's water repellent, it's, got a, it's a windbreaker as well, and it's also water resistant. So it basically means that windbreaker means that if this, when it's really windy and the wind's blowing on you, it will just, the wind will just blow and just kind of separate and it will just break the wind. So you will not feel the wind around your body whilst wearing this. The material also allows it to be waterproof and water repellent as well. So whilst the, whilst the water is hitting the jacket, it should really kind of just wash off and shouldn't penetrate the jacket. This jacket was 450 pounds, which I, I don't think it's too bad again I mean I guess this one would probably be up against something like the Canada Goose Chili Whack now I think the Chili Whack is like 750 800 and this is actually not a bad um, alternative something a little bit cheaper if you don't want to go for the Canada Goose and spend that much money now we've got the Purinex badge there on the side and again it's, it's this jacket really reminds me of Montclair a lot I, I, I don't think these guys are copying Montclair. I don't think this is a Montclair copycat. I look at this brand as a genuine alternative to Montclair. Some of you guys that are not looking to spend a lot of that big money on the Montclair, I would go for something like the Pyrenex. Um, I think the only thing I thought about this brand is that, a little again, a little bit like how Montclair was all those years ago. It wasn't really seen as a cool brand. Montclair only really started to become really cool when um, a lot of superstars, celebrities started wearing it, like Drake and a few other celebrities started wearing it. Then everyone kind of jumped onto it. But before that, Montclair was not as cool as that. It was just a few people running around in um, in Europe that was wearing the jacket. And that's the same thing that's happening with um, Pyrenex as well. It, it was only supplied to a few countries like the USA, some parts of Europe, not including the UK and also Japan, so it's still quite underground. I reckon this jacket, within a, a year, year and a half's time, this is gonna be a very, very popular brand. I, I really wish Pyr Pyrenex would let me do their marketing and branding for them, because I, I reckon with the right marketing, getting this jacket in the right people's hands, the right celebrities' hands, this jacket could become very, very cool. Now, this jacket here, <laughs> This is a funny one, this one, because it looks like the Montclair, it looks like a cross between the Montclair Maya and the Montclair Hubert. Both of those jackets I've reviewed, and this jacket reminds me of it so much. Um, this one is actually called the Fur Trim Authentic Shiny Coat. Not a very original name, to be honest. Um, when, I, when I wore the jacket, I just thought it was okay. I, I really didn't think it was anything special, to be honest with you, this particular one. This one was 500 pounds, so it's the most expensive out of the bunch. The material is made from something called tefta, and again, tefta is um, basically made from silk. It's a silk material um, with a with a really tight woven um, process. So yeah, it's really really soft. But what they've also done is they've gone and coated the jacket as well. So the coat, the jacket is water repellent, which is good to hear. It's not as puffy as the red jacket here. It's not as puffy as that one. I think probably that's what my issue was. I, I didn't find it as puffy you can see they're using a bit of a chunkier shinier zip right there so that's Vizlon YKK and um, the hood is removable as well so you can take that off and again if you do not want to see the fur you can just take that off there is a button down system there where you can just pop that off and it will come off we've got Pyrenex on the arm right there so that's all good nice brush fur material right there on the arm and you've got a little um, ski pass pocket there very very much similar to the Montclair Maya and the Montclair Hubert so um so yeah, th this is the this is the Pyrenex stuff, guys. Remember, I got all this stuff from Flannels. If you want to go and check it out, you can do. I will put all the links on the links box below, but that's it there, flannels.com. Okay. So that's it, man. I hope you enjoyed looking at the brand. Remember, this is one of the brands that you guys recommended for me to get in. So I've got it in and I've done the review. So I hope you enjoyed it. Getting super busy on Snapchat, super busy on Instagram. So if you've got any questions with legit checks or any types of um, questions you're looking for items, you need some help. Just shout me on the email, man. Shout me on helpmehox at thehoxandtrend.com and I will get back to you within two or three days. I will help you to answer your questions, okay? So that's it, man. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to crack on with the Stone Island um, 
Stone Iron X Night Review now, man. So, yeah, I'm going to get that one underway, okay? Alright, chaps, I'm out of here, man. Peace out. Have a good day. In a bit.